Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to do a video here uh, doing a print and showing you how to, uh, what type of alternative ink is being used on these as well as how to print without credits. Um, there's an old YouTube video on here. I can't remember the guy's name right now. I'm so sorry, but um, you can use these printers without the credit system, honestly. Uh, it's a manual way of doing it. So uh, I had some of people request how this is done and what kind of su what kind of substitute. As far as I'm aware, nobody's ever disclosed what what type of, of substitute uh, we can be used on these kiosks before. So that's going to be a first, at least on YouTube. So I hope as long as this channel is available and this date information is available, someone keeps it. <laughs> uh, but here I go. So first thing you're going to need to do is open it, of course. Um, if you want to know what kind of paper this is, this is the kind of paper it is. Um, VW MPS 50E. It comes with the ink cassette, uh, which is good for 50 pictures, and the paper itself. And it has the MP mark. And there's a printer that used this that looked very similar to this NT300. But it works just the same with one exception. Um, the paper will go through. It is not adhesive paper, but um, I know I said this on the previous video, but just in case, you know, this is a video dedicated just to how to print on um, these. So this sticker is from the original Snap one, but you the stickers that come with these cartridges, which is the MPS 50, they're going to be fully black. There's not going to be any shiny part. So what you need to do is this is this the black coating on this can be scratched off and i can there's an example right there in that corner where i scratched off some of it you can scratch it off with your nail or with some kind of like credit card or anything that you got and you scratch out pretty much this much of this uh, of the black stuff off of the sticker to have this exposed if you put this if you put this ink cartridge without doing that it's going to give you an error message on the printer saying please insert correct type of ink because it's supposed to be adhesive and this is just standard ink but once you do that you'll trick the little sensor in here into thinking that it's the adhesive because it she's that shiny part in in the, in the tape and that's all the Panasonic really did to differentiate between the adhesive and standard ink. They really didn't do much else. It was a very crude security system to trick it. <laughs> Not very uh, high tech, I would say, but it got the job done, right? Now I'm going to turn on the kiosk and I'm going to show you. So first thing you have to do is you have to remove this cover here that hides. So you might have this bolted on and it just locks in. You take it off. You want to expose this to do be able to do your, your prints. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on menu and then you're going to go down to format and then hit uh, the right button to set. And it's automatically going to go into, into this option. You're going to go into album. Now, you can actually print different uh, sizes. You can print full size if you left it alone when you turn it on, but you can change it to four. Four pictures per per uh, per paper, nine, and then the standard is uh, sixteen that the kiosk uses. Sixteen for the for the stickers. Um, but for my sake, we're gonna do the four just to make it easier for me. You're gonna hit enter here, and then we're good to go. So at this point, I'm gonna hit the controller button here. So then we're gonna go into. All right, we're gonna go into gallery. And then I've already was preparing this ahead of time. So we're gonna go to stickers here. Now normally you would be able to print, but we don't have the credits and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the stickers. Now you can do this with any game or a snapshot. So you're gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the enlarge button here for, for me. Um, you know what, I'm gonna change that picture. I don't like that picture. Let's see, let's go to pick a photo. You, so you can take pictures on this thing. Oh wow, it didn't save my picture that I, that I took here last time. Oh well, 
Well, they just we're gonna go to stickers. I'm gonna hit enlarge here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit memory right here. And so it just snap to snapshot. We're gonna do that for the other pictures. There we go. I'm gonna hit memory again and then it put another one there for me. I'm gonna hit enlarge here for the Charizard, hit memory again. There goes my second snapshot. Or my third one. And then my last one's gonna be the Venusaur here. I'm gonna hit memory. So now when all of them are set, it, the green light's gonna be for, for print. Once I've done the four pictures, it's gonna stay here. Now, if I wanna clear our four pictures, I can either hit clear. If I wanna show the monitor again, like what's on the actual uh, monitor, you hit monitor and it brings you back to the screen that, that's to the game. Now, if you wanna go back to, to seeing all four pictures again that are stored in memory, just hit monitor again and it brings it right back up. Now, if you hit memory again, it will do another snapshot, but it will delete the four pictures you've already done there. So that's what you gotta be careful. Uh, but you see the print's turned off. As soon as I hit monitor and it brings up the snapshots I did, then I'll just hit print and it's gonna start doing its work. And so, each star is going to pertain to each of the films that is inside of the of the ink cartridge like the yellow the magenta and the cayenne so right now it's doing the yellow first so it's printing the yellow once it prints the yellow then it's going to skip on over to the next color and it's going to you know do the same thing and once the third star is complete then i'll have my print so we're going to wait here it's going to take a light and sometimes it takes longer honestly it just it really depends or maybe now that I've fixed it, I think it prints a lot faster because now it's being able to detect the, the the film going through and moving through the machine properly. As before, it was it was like moving through partially and then getting stuck. And I'm only my prints were and then it was kept trying over and over to do the print and it just couldn't do it. So it's already gone over to the next ink uh, ink cycle, which is probably going to be the red one, I believe, the magenta. And then once it's done with the magenta, there it goes. It's going into the last film, which is the blue, the cayenne. So once it runs it through the machine, it's going to spit it right out here. So let me back away a little bit. And there it is. Out it comes. And I've got my own print. And the quality is amazing. Now the paper I'm using is the paper that is for the substitute. There is no stickers on it, as you can see, but it is the exact same size. I do have the original paper and the, the ink cartridge, unfortunately, is bad, but the original paper is still uh, there. So, and you can print this substitute ink on the original paper if you so choose. Um, there's not much of this stuff left out there, if any. Um, so have fun trying to find this alternative ink so you can get your snapshot uh snap kiosk print again you know i have some more down there stored away so i'll probably i'm probably gonna be good for like maybe a 50 i mean to i mean maybe 100 to 200 prints at most but that's the video i mean it's it's a pretty as you can see it's pretty awesome and uh honestly you can print anything with this little machine if you want any screenshot of anything can be printed on this machine so have a good one I, like i said i'm sorry i can't remember the, the the original user that that showcased this but uh if you can find that video you can probably uh, put it in the comment section and say hey this is the guy that did it i can't remember how i found him or not it's been it's been a while but yeah you can put him in the comment section and i'll probably add it in the description so i can give credit to him uh also uh yeah, I might give these away. So if anybody's interested in having one of these little pictures and stuff, you know, you can have it and frame it or whatever. So have a good one.